everyone, and we just want to enter the gungeon. Uh, stream went on a little late tonight, so I'm doing this much later than normal. So we're going to do something a little bit short. We had a request for another boss rush specifically as the bullet, the bunny rabbit bullet. So that's who we're that's who we're going to be playing. Bunny rabbit. Can we? Nah, we can't do any of the curses or anything with boss rush. Just sound the elevators. That's right. Three dollars per ride on game. We have plenty of money. If only that money was real money. But then nobody would ever play any other video game, right? Because then you just get a bunch of credits every single time you play Gungeon, and that credits become money magically, and then you'd only ever play uh, Gungeon. So Bullet, obviously really strong against in boss rush, though. Had to be a little bit careful, because you take early damage, suddenly you just have a sword. Ah, it doesn't shoot anything. And it becomes a bit more of a challenge than one would uh, expect to kill some of these early bosses when you don't have a ranged weapon. So you gotta be careful not to take early damage. In particular against the first boss, because then the first boss will you know, give you a gun. So then even if you do uh, ruin your blasphemy, you sell something to shoot. But against the first boss in particular, you get hit. Like, uh, it's, it's game. Not necessarily, you can fight them in melee, but it's just not nearly as reliable, of course. What do I get? What do I, what do I get? What do I get? I don't know why it took so long to die. The alien engine, I like. <laughs> I like a lot. There's a lot of damage. I get more for zooming around normal levels and killing regular enemies versus uh, fighting bosses, though. Because, of course, it's close range is a bit of a liability. In boss killing scenarios, like, I don't want to get close to the trick wins. Just gonna shoot me right in the face, and nothing I can do about it. The alien engine. I guess we're killing Smiley first. Kind of arbitrary which one to kill. Just he decided to get closer to me, so he he dies. Simple as that. Uh, please stop. Stop it. Okay, kill the friends. Don't deal any friends. Hi. Let's. Uh, Try not to be stuck between them because we don't want to be stuck in a crossfire. Alright, he's dead. Fight actually gets easier when it's only one of them because then bolts are only going from one direction, right? They do fire more bolts, but that's not really that big of a deal. In particular, when you just swing your sword and the bolts are eaten. Should we just do all blasphemy? Every boss fight with blasphemy? Nah, probably not gonna happen. In particular, because we got, in particular, it's got fun weapon like Alien Engine. The kiln we haven't had for a long time, and I don't think it's that great. But well, we'll use it here. I think we'll get more damage off it than our blasphemy. Did the rupees out of the kiln always bounce so much? Is that is that new at some point? I feel like at some point that was not how it worked. Shotgun? Because it has a little shotgun rupees bouncing out. But they bounce off of your target. Like, away from them. But then they bounce back again. It's, very, it's kind of weird how this weapon works. Like I said, I rarely see it. It's okay. Oh, good. That's, yeah, woo. Water. It's the, fun's, the sun's out, fun's out. The sun's out, gungeon's out. A pool party with the water pistol. Alright, so not really a great selection of weapons so far. Uh, more pots? Sure. I'd love to get on him to hit him with his engine. Let's just clear some rooms I actually got here. I don't want to get shot. Please, please, please don't shoot me in the face. Ah, that was dumb. I thought I would kill it, but it hold down the trigger long enough so it didn't die. 
even gonna finish him off the alien engine then, because it does so much damage. Saw his HP bar just melt. Oh, good. A bow. Like I said, not a very lucrative run so far. Oh, ammo condo. Why, why, why? Why even bother? Like, why? Uh, definitely use the pots on them. Especially if you get stuck in the corner. Amaconda, anytime you want to spend stuck in the corner, it's fine by me. Let's not use our last blanks to try to get our HP upgrade against the final boss of this floor. Should have aced the bolster. This is relatively easy, especially compared to Amaconda. Why, why he stacked up all his bolts in line, I did not expect that. Amoconda, you don't just replace just replace Gunlich with Amoconda. Ah, uh, that was just a bad roll on my part. Would stop shooting, stop with all so many bullets, and I hate it. Hey, it's almost down. Of course he healed because he's Amoconda. Have you met Amoconda before? And he's dead. Alright, my nemesis is down. Give me a little bit of healing. He did give me a little bit of healing and a little bit of gun. Not a good gun, but a gun. I'm gonna go get that full heart. We'll happily bounce on down there to grab it. That reactivates our blasphemy. As needed, which we kinda do need because our weapons are they're just they're not good. <laughs> We're not getting good guns. Other than alien engine, but that's not necessarily good for fighting bosses. But one blank left. And it's against the Oh yeah, Meduzi's clearly the easiest boss. On this floor. Currently. Sneak in some uh, alien engine damage when we get an opportunity. Be nice and safe here. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> When you have the opportunity, not just when you feel like it. And the opportunity is when she comes out from underwater in a relatively safe location like that. And she did, and she did. We get explosive bolts? Yeah, explosive rounds. I mean this pretty good. Shoot explosive. 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 Occasionally explosive swords. Occasionally explosive all projectiles, I suppose. Makes all our weapons a little bit better, which is great, because all our weapons are a little bit bad. Can of Balrog. Okay, then we switch to Peg and Trickham. Don't actually want to be in the corner against you, Can of Balrog, so we can stop. Appreciate it. Great thing about explosive bolts is that they explode and the explosion eats bolts. I just say the great thing about explosive bolts is that they explode, because that sounds like way dumber than what I meant. Is that they, the explosion eats bolts. So you have a little bit of a defensive uh, component to them. The trick gun is like, just, just not good. This part of it's okay, but the. Uh, oh, are you serious? <laughs> Shot directly down at me immediately after rolling and shooting the spread? Shaw, ah, what up? Obnoxious. The shotgun part trick gun doesn't have enough range, have enough range to be good. Looper is a high knockback shotgun that's like okay damage. I'm trying not to just abuse last me the whole time. Cause that's kind of boring. So I'm trying not to do that. 
Uh, that's gonna be impossible. Bloop him. Check your bloop. Also, not great range on the bloops. Noticed before die, that the tank commander like flips the hatch open and then it flies off in the middle of the fight. I never noticed that before. All the runs I've done, I've never seen that animation or never noticed the animation. I should say, I'm sure it's happened plenty because that's how video games work. But never noticed that the tank commander like pops out and throws off the hatch and then. Makes angry face start shooting. I've noticed I'm shooting, of course. This gun is actually okay, but still kind of bad because when it crits, it does lots of damage. The problem is, it doesn't tend to crit as often, nearly as often as you would like. All this, look at all these crits. There we go. I'm not sure there's any stats that affect the crit rate. Is there? There are. I haven't noticed them. Yeah, I was gonna say this fight's just a, it's not good. For me. That was a really bad spot. I don't want to be in the corner with these goofy shaped walls against bounty bolts. Uh, try not to abuse blast me. Even against Mind Flare, probably our second worst boss, possibly. Don't roll into, they were stuck on each other, I expect them to be walking around, those two were just having their own little private session in the corner. If you could crit, like, more than once every 30 shots, you'd be such a better guy. Why not make it something reliable? That's also not a great gun. We're getting a lot of, uh, seems to be a common theme on this to be a common theme here. This gun is not so great. All right, that felt good. We bloop him. Warp will gun him. Well, this is an absolute nightmare. I don't know how we survived that. Oof. I really want to get in there and hit him with some engine fire like that. It's kind of hard to find the opportunity. Not the lasers. Not the lasers with the bolts in some sick mixture. Alright, we have expended. Dude, I, I was trying not to go into that. I got complete target fixation and crash trying to level. That's, that's not the gun I want. I wanted alien engine for that. Didn't have it in my second slot, though, so it didn't quite kill. Tons, I don't know why the game gives so many keys. M1 is a fine gun. It, it shoots bullets, does damage. Exactly what you'd expect out of a gun. Probably one of the better guns we've gotten so far, which is pretty sick. Outside of Alien Engine. I'm just counting Alien Engine, because Alien Engine is actually great. Although it's a little uh, niche against the bosses. I want a uh, rapid firing weapon for explosive bolts to proc as much as possible. Machine pistol's obviously not a high damage uh, output piece of machinery here. Ow. If we get a couple of good explosions, that might save us some damage. Are you only doing these attacks? Cause like you can do other attacks, you know. What what is wrong with his uh 
What is wrong with this? What is wrong with this this wall monger? Doesn't he normally do other attacks? Cause he's gonna get us in the corner here. That was the weirdest wallmonger fight I've had. Look how far down we got. We're almost at the end. Just cause he never stopped to do any other attack, he just kept walking forward and shooting me with that same attack. That was that was scary. Alright, we got a shock rifle now. Shock rifle's pretty good. Should just teleport back to the top. Only boss room with a teleporter. Oh, bye. I wasn't trying to, you know, have an adult conversation or anything. Rude. Dude, these two bullets. Shadowing me that whole way. I hate the wall bullets with such a passion. Uh, see you later again, High Priest. I'd love to set him on fire when he's trying to. He's doing that. Where are you? There he is. No, not backwards. Ugh. This is not what I wanted. Waste of a blank. This is obnoxious. I hate that. Okay. I don't know how you caught fire there, but I'm not going to complain. Stop the spirit. Especially if I can't jump fire before I... I love the dots on you. Ugh, wobbles. Because they're also slightly snaky. Slightly serpentine. Stop. Stop, please. Not those wall bullets. Our priest is a... It's a long fight, for sure. Tough, moves around a lot, and even has these sections where he disappears. Finally, he's dead. That's <laughs> he took way too much damage against against the high priest. This is terrible. That's our first passive item, and it's coin crown in the mode where there are no shops, like no way to spend our money whatsoever. We loop him and want him. Actually, I guess here what we want to do is just kill the alien engine. Him. That's by far our strongest weapon in that situation. I'm for lower right. Some bad dodging should have been hit for sure. Luckily we are the bullet. No contact damage. No matter how deserved it may be. How are none of them did them? Alright, this should be pretty easy. You had the best short range weapon against a boss that short range weapons excel at. Uh, the last stage of the skill tower, it's not necessarily the first stages. Deckard is finally a decent gun. That I'll happily utilize against bosses. Everything else has just been like, oh, okay, this one's oh, kind of okay ish. It works sometimes, it works well with explosive bullets. Deckard, I'm happy to find Deckard. Still goes up to uh, actually fighting the dragon, but we got one. And we use alien engine to murder his heart. Hey, we even have a beam weapon. Awesome, awesome for us. Uh, explosive weapon's kind of redundant though with Deckard, because obviously Deckard fires explosive bullets already. 
Unfortunately, there are no, there's no gun lich in boss rush. It's always struck me as kind of weird. Uh, should save that for the handguns. It's not like we need the final uh, chamber. We can roll against them freely because we're cold, of course. The bullet takes no contact damage and does extra roll damage. The bullet is real good. I don't know if you know this, bullet's pr pretty good, pretty decent character. Because I have like no way to reliably take these dudes out. <laughs> that was that were a lot of crossfire bolts going on there. That, was, that wasn't getting out of there alive. I'm gonna be up on him. I'll just like do this. Much, much easier. I don't know why I was doing it. I was trying to be fancy, and then I was all the bottom to roll into him. And like, if I'm in roll, how long was I in roll damage range? Carrying the alien engine, not frying him to crispy dragon bits. Little, little silly. I'll just prolong in the fight. We're having fun. We're just making it last a little bit long. The explosive alien engine's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> there are stream or jet fires randomly exploding our engine is knocking and there we go we're done evil banished that was an that was actually a pretty interesting uh, boss rush had a lot of weird guns we had a couple weird like the explosive bolts came into play a lot a really weird wallmonger fight terrible high priest ammo kind of fight and not so great mind flayer fight uh, we forced to use a lot of guns. Like we used the kill one we don't use. We used trick gun that we never tried to never use. Uh, we got forced to use a lot of weapons we're not necessarily comfortable with. And then Alien Engine, our old pal, uh, made a great showing and was great to use as always. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, join the video, subscribe for more fire, touch the like, see you next time.